Hi, this is Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, Consultant in Fertility, Nova EV Fertility, Kormangla. In the intrauterine insemination procedure, the husband comes to the hospital and gives a semen sample in the hospital by manipulation. Yes, of course, if the husband finds it uncomfortable to give the semen sample in the hospital premises, there is a provision for the husband to get the semen sample from home, but one has to make sure that the collection bottle should be a sterile one, preferably collected from the hospital and the semen sample has to be brought to the andrology lab within 40 minutes of collection. Once the semen sample reaches the andrology lab, it will be properly labelled and the semen is processed. The semen processing can be done by different techniques depending on the volume and the concentration of the sperms. And before the semen processing is done, the andrologist would assess the semen sample in terms of the count of the sperms, the motility of the sperms and also assess uh, the number of sperms that are normal and that would give us a fair idea of how the pregnancy chances would be. In the semen processing procedure, the sperms that are normal and motile are separated from the entire pool of sperms and that will make sure that the chances of pregnancy increase quite a bit. The processed semen sample would then be given to the uh, gynecologist or the fertility specialist who with all aseptic precautions will inject into the woman's uterus. It is always made sure that the comfort level of the woman is maintained during this procedure because there is a lot of psychological pain when a woman goes through procedures, assisted procedures for pregnancy to happen as pregnancy is something which is supposed to happen naturally. And during this procedure, uh, with the help of an instrument which is called as the speculum, the uh, vaginal walls are separated and the cervix that is the mouth of the uterus would be visualized. All the uh, vaginal secretions and uh, the discharge that is there which is more likely to be at the time of ovulation is dabbed away from the cervix and the cervix is cleaned with normal saline and then with the help of a plastic catheter which is quite thin and soft and malleable the semen sample is injected inside the uterus making sure that this doesn't touch the uterus so as to avoid uterine cramping and contractions and once the procedure is done this procedure will not take more than a minute's time and after the procedure is done the woman is expected to be resting in the couch for about five to six minutes after which she can carry out all her routine activities and yes of course semen analysis the semen processing is a very important part and the technique of performing the intrauterine insemination is also a very very important part when it comes to the success rate with intrauterine insemination at the same time it has to be noted that intrauterine insemination has got a success rate of not more than 15 percent per cycle as a result of which one should not stop at one cycle with the doctor's advice depending on the parameters